I tell you what, it never fails. We get to the Musco Senior Spotlight, and something happens. We Seems like every time. We shut up, goals get scored. That's, that's what happens. Let's wind it back here as we got a free kick coming here for Jackson Strickler. As you see, the Sheraton Chargers lead it 2-0, and this is how they did it. William Yeager with his first goal of the season. And I, I got to wind it back again there, actually, Owen, because I got to see who had the assist on the pass in. We were discussing it as the senior spotlight was continuing. Oh, it looks like it was – it may have been an Amarato. I think so. We're going to give him the credit, and it can be corrected officially, of course, by Coach Pierce Baker when the time comes. That would be for Christian his third – assist of the season but what a look in the box there Nels yeah and that was one of the things been kind of talking about all game and what Sheraton's doing well is stretching that back line out and getting that space on the back post and that was kind of a crash in on that pass anyway but it worked mm -hmm. nicely for him John David Miller gonna throw it in here for Sheraton well now Albia really has to force the issue of course with a two goal deficit here but it's it's not an unfamiliar place for the Blue Demons as we've alluded to a couple of times here in tonight's broadcast they on the road in Osceola against the Clark Indians last Thursday trailed 2-0 with seven minutes to go and came back to win 3-2 in that one now they are also worth noting down their top two goal scorers in Connor Fisher and Connor Reno Fisher, the red card on Tuesday against Knoxville, unable to play tonight. And then Reno exited with an injury earlier here this half. So the deck is certainly stacked against them, but they've already shown the resolve to be able to overcome a deficit like this. So don't sleep on the Blue Demons. Because we got a corner here for Sheraton. Gibson trying to get into the box. Strickler went up for the save. It's still up for grabs. Druken Miller from the top. Caroms off one of the Blue Demons. Back over to Gibson. Gibson back again on the crosser. Query sends it oh. in. Wow. How in the world did that drop from the heavens and fall in the net? I think that that can be called a, a cheeky goal. Whoa. Almost like a pseudo corner on the initial pass there from Gibson. He finds Cade Query for his second goal of the season. Let's see it again at the 16.05 mark. Gibson from that right side. Boy, it almost goes as an assist to Strickler, doesn't it? It was off his touch. I, I'm obviously being facetious there, but wow, what a shot from Query. Yeah, I think and that was a great ball in. Nice curling back post ball. And all of a sudden, a 3-0 lead for the Sheraton Chargers in the blink of an eye. How about 19 saves for Strickler tonight? I mean, that's – he had 20 all year. He, no, he, he's, and he's played a great game. He has shared time with Kipton Lawrence in the net, I'll say, this year for Albia. But I tell you what, 19 saves against these guys, that's – I know what the final score is going to say, and people are going to look at that and say, oh, well, Sheraton 3-0, you know, that stands out. They obviously had a good night offensively, but when you – you factor in that unofficially I've got them down now for 31 shots and 20 of them have been on goal. That's There's something to be said about that for Jackson Strickler. Under 30 seconds to go. Oh, actually, I beg your pardon. 35 seconds up on the official scoreboard. Our Sundance Realty score bug a little ahead there. We have a tough view of the scoreboard from our vantage point here in the press box. But did want to mention, make note too, as that was a nice ball from Carter Kamrick, a save there from Krutzinger, his fourth. Wanted to give a, a big thank you to Rick Ripperger, the activities director here for Albia High School, as well as the administration as a whole here in Albia for the hospitality, letting us be in the press box here tonight for our broadcast. Yeah, I'm skinny and don't handle the cold. <laughs> so... And there it is. The final horn sounds, and the Sheraton Chargers will improve to 5-1 and one on the season, 2-1 and one in the SEC, while the Blue Demons will drop to 5-4 and 3-2, and and respectively, with the 3-0 win tonight for Sheraton here in Albia.